thinking about the most appropriate forum to hold this tribute to Dr. Nervous, it had to include people who can appreciate what's going on and who are in daily contact with learners of this institute. And therefore, I'm very pleased at this point to invite Viv Ansley, the director of our school in Cape Town, which Jonathan has visited many, many times, to speak on behalf of the director <coughs> and to greet us and to uh, greet Jonathan on this momentous occasion. So, Jonathan, Mickey, and family, um, thank you for the privilege, everybody, for allowing me to get the director's message. Um, we're not related. <laughs> we, we do have a lunch light connection, as does Alan. And, um, and what I want to share with you, Jonathan, is the gift that you have given every single one of us in this room because many of us are here because Jonathan asked us to be here. Um, and um, I, I lament the fact that there are many new directors here today who haven't had the opportunity to work alongside Jonathan and, um, and will gather the, the messages and the experiences over time that Jonathan has left us all. Because he's given us pearls, pearls and gifts that we own. And already this morning and yesterday, last night, in terms of some of the comments that people made, you could hear um, the Yonatan messages that were coming through. So he's been a visionary and he's provided us with leadership and stood by our sides um, night and day. And in fact, it's been day and night in terms of, of mm -hmm. him and his phone calls uh, being in Israel and all the time zones, etc. Yeah. Um, and what I think is very special about how Yonatan operates is that he starts with the personal and then he goes to the professional. And I think that's a really important message that even this morning in the few minutes that he connected with so many people, he was asking the personal um, updates and being in touch with our personal updates in terms of each one of us and the kind of um, things that we encounter in our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is um, the, the hallmark of uh, a brilliant um, professional and pro a brilliant educator. So the directors have um, a, a sort of message that I collated um, having approached a number of directors from the field. Um, and for those visitors who don't have, I put a rhyming message together. You have it in your file. Um, and if you want to take a minute, <coughs> pass on. The directors have it, the visitors don't. <coughs> but um, if you want to, to, to hear all the characteristics and all the, the messages that come through in terms of this particular tribute. So it goes as follows. We all have a Yonatan story, how he's touched our lives. Over the years he gave to make sure Melton survived. Yonatan never took no for an answer. He'd always think big and was never a chancer. He plot and plot all his waking hour. His family saw Melton, his appetite devour. Yonatan offered us inspired leadership and vision while lending support to our every decision. He's been our guide and our sounding board at the end of a phone. Whichever city we directed, were never alone. He was a master, teacher, and politician of note, and we value his contribution to help keep Melton afloat. Jonathan was a strategist and diplomatic networker. The relationships he pursued in Melton's interest, he did broker. As visionary and innovator, he thought out of the box, transforming adult Jewish literacy, the students have all flocked. To sustain this model of excellence, funding he secured, major donors whom he wooed from all over the world. With passion and commitment, Jonathan gave Milton a voice 
while empowering us all to think we've made the correct choice. He's handed us an international model with strong foundations that Florence Milton could not have envisaged at the time of its creation. From Africa to Asia, from US <coughs> to Hong Kong, Yonatan traveled the seas pioneering the Milton song. The world is richer for the parts he navigated, a pluralistic and text-based curriculum, well-designed and marketed. So Janice states, states aptly that though Yonatan has moved on, the house that you built and your legacy will stand strong. At this point, I'd like to call on Judy Cookton and uh, by Maury Schwartz to say a few words to present him with the gift. You want time? Um, Judy and I would like to present you something which actually uh, we saw the uh, the prototype of at the uh, the board of directors meeting um, back in um, October, September. Um, we, uh, we're we very privileged, and I can speak certainly on, my, on behalf of uh, what I do for Melton, because when I came here 11 years ago and just started working, it was Yonatan's real trust in me that I had something to offer the mini school um, in the capacity of curriculum that pushed me into the position and gave me all along the, uh, really the uh, confidence and the trust to enable me to, to do what I've done. And together, Judy and I would like to now present you with this uh, this gift. I want to just read. Yes, it is a small, <laughs> a small gift, a small representation of, of the great honor we have in, in thanking you. Um, the the gift is um, there's a, a beautiful uh, pasuk um, that we chose as a staff, and um, the pasuk is uh, you recognize from Pure Kavo, the the bold as the leopard. Swift as the eagle, fleet as the deer, mighty as the lion, to perform the will of your Father in heaven. And if any of you, I, I hope that this resonates with all of you who know Yonatan well, if you've ever had to walk alongside him to a, to a destination, you know that he is fleet as the deer. If you've ever had to deal with him in some negotiation, you know he is mighty as the lion. And you can understand why this, this uh, pasuk had such resonance for us when we chose it. And we hope that it, it pays great tribute to you and to the work and to the, and to the, the, the contribution that you've made to Jewish education. Um, so please come and accept this. Okay, without any further ado, 